Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or as we like to call it, the grandest competition between the elements ever, probably. Wow. Yeah, really. yeah. <laughs> you know, like the weather that's about to snow outside of our house right now, <laughs> our building. Apparently is... we're gonna get like three snowstorms in a row here just, in like just, the next couple of weeks. Between like now and the and, and the middle of January, man, it's gonna right. get wild. Of course, while you're watching this, it's way past the middle of January. <laughs> so, Don't worry about it. Recording schedules, am I right? Anyway, let's take a look at the team competition before we jump into the finale of season eight. Yeah, so at present, Grass is once again absolutely sweeping the floor with 230 points, Grass. despite the fact that second place Electric currently possesses uh, overall leader Carly on their team. Uh, so Electric is in second place with 194 points. Water is right on their tail with 190, and then poor... Poor dear sweet fire is just really down down the drain, as they say, with 150 points. So 151 points rather. So we'd love to see fire really knock it out of the park. But coming into today, some of our top leaderboard positions include uh, Tempest Blade, who is on Team Grass, looking to contribute to that conversation. Uh, we do have Doe with one final pack of the season from Team Fire, who could potentially make some waves. He's, Hopefully, he's some, gonna be some big waves, some, some fiery ones. But otherwise, <laughs> next up. On the lineup is going to be Smubbles from Team Grass. So it looks like Grass is just in it to win it as we go into the day, but you never really can predict anything with this game. So without any further ado, let's roll that intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. All right, and now it is time for the wheel of energy. Jay, yep. what'd you do with the honors? I'm thinking water is the big money one. Let's the big it. money. Let's see what we get for team water. Could it be good for team fire somehow? And it uh, oh my god, oh. this was one. Oh. Bounce over! No, it's gonna be a raucous pummeling again! Yeah, Alright, it has right. been a month yeah. for raucous pummelings. I don't think we need to change the boards. You wanna let them know about the randomly chosen common chase cards? I sure will. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are gonna be Gimme Ghoul, Don Dozo, and Nimble. Alright, so the Don Dozo in particular is one that I feel like we have just seen We've in, seen it so in many. absolute space. And the Nimble, I feel the, like. The, the yeah. Gimme Ghoul, a little harder to find. Okay. But well, let's see how everything shakes out as we crack into today's box, shall right. we? So, uh, yeah, the top the leader, as a reminder, we have not pulled the rarest card of the set at all this season. 11 boxes in and it has eluded us. It is the Illustrator Rare Roaring Moon. This guy right here, it is worth 101 points, which is the total of the current leader, Carly, who has already pulled all of her packs. So you know Carly is sitting there just like, just please no one pull it. Just, uh, all it would take, just, cause that's the thing, it takes one, one, one card yeah. at this point in time. One card can topple the leaderboard entirely and change the game as we know it. That's right. Um, but all we can do is wait and see what ultimately happens with pack number one. Who's going to Jesse? And they, uh, Jesse's got three points coming in, so a possible last place contender. One of their packs was worth only 12 cents. So okay, so this is got your, something to work on. We're looking for a one point. We got the raucous pummeling energy type that we're looking out for for the multiplier. Let's see, we got the fireball there. So no multiplier. That's good for Jesse, actually. The live part, the wind pod, the medical energy, the steam, the glass door will yeah. ruin it, though. The dwebble, the Professor Turo scenario, and then the woe oh, chance of a two oh, point man. pack. Oh, you hate to see it. You do hate to see it because that totally, that totally without the glass score you feel like that would have been a last place contender but instead, but instead it it's isn't. there 
So there we go. Enjoy your Wo Chien. Welcome to the finals. This and is we are this off. is where this is where prizes are won. All right, we have got 1909 Graz fan, whatever that means. 1909 Graz fan must be a reference to something that we just simply don't know about. How are they doing coming into the day? They got four points. Four points. Okay, for Team <clears throat> Water, we got the Water there. <clears throat> yeah, there at least. It go. doesn't do anything for us. We got the Boon Suite, the Phoebus, the Apom, the Galvantula, the Roarark, the Minior will score, yep. the Simipore, the Flittle will not. Yeah. Score the not to will, will not, not score. End. Oh, the Confrigus. Man, I don't recognize this one. So it's like a coffin Pokemon. <laughs> Interesting. So number seventy six on the set. We'll take a peek. We have pulled one before. Sixty six cents fittingly. Wow. So um, just two points. Just there two points there. Six on the season for nineteen oh nine Graz fan. Well, there you go. No changes Good luck. whatsoever. At least you got a sleeved card. A sleeved card to close out the season. Well done. All right, we're, we're just easing into the water here. We're hopefully going to see something crazy. All right, first player for fire today with 20 points. They're probably on the board, I have to think. Jeremy? Let's see. With how many points coming in today? 20. 20 points overall, yes. Yeah, so this would have been a tie for one of the big Steve positions. Jeremy for Team Fire. And Jeremy is a current uh, scorer, I believe, for Team Fire, possibly, if my, my highlighting is correct. Maybe it isn't. Um, but so it seems like there's at least a reasonable possibility that uh, if if I think they're in fifth place for fire. Yeah, fifth place so, for fire. So, so they will be scoring points here. Yes, they will be scoring. Fire points is going to get some points. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, it's a lot. Let's see. They have the metal energy there. The Wiglet, the Gligar, the Blip Bug, the Fue Coco. So far, not looking too good. The Techno Radar, the Iron Moth will do nothing. The Tandem Mouse is nothing. Oh, Just the okay. Altaria EX, the rare dragon type in the set. I know, yeah, there are like so few overall. So that's number 140. We have pulled one before. 70 cents, a single point. A single point. So fire ticks forward <laughs> one point. Bravo! That yeah. What does that bring them to? Like a hundred and yeah. yeah so that, yeah. that that brings them overall team fire to one hundred and fifty-two. One hundred and fifty-two. So clawing their way back. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Flying up the charts. All right, next up we have Drawing Heart. So as ever, I need to draw a heart on this card here. Oh, uh, next, and they have got four points coming in for uh, Team Grass here. So probably not one of the big scorers. At least not yet, <clears throat> and especially because Team Grass is highly dominant so yeah. far. I think I think so far the teams only, Ethan was telling me this before I walked in, only Grass and Electric have won so far, and they are currently sitting in first and second place. Wow, the what are the team odds? So, so in case, weird. In case you guys are <clears throat> unaware, there are collectible uh, gym badge pins that we design here in office uh, that w that go out to... Yeah, to the winning team. To the winning team exclusively. So that is what you're fighting for. It's not nothing. So we got the Porygon, the Seedra, the Magby, the Vanillite, the Tulip, the Tatsugiri, oh, the, the Dondozo will, will score. score, the Pan Sage, the Fue Coco will will not score, and the Volcanion will. So just two points, two points as well. Wow, so man. three two-point packs back-to-backs for a there total of go. six on the season for drawing hearts. There we go. Probably not affecting the leaderboard much. Next up, we have Elizabeth, who has got nine points. A uh, favorite from last episode, if I, I recall. It was unbelievable the number of ninth place finishers. We unbelievable. Had, or, or nine point finishers, rather. Yes, it was. Yeah, ninth place finishers. Yeah, was, <laughs> a huge ninth place. It's a huge tie. Off. What do you know? Oh, the Rock is pummeling. So here we go. Our first multiplier of the day. Can we get something huge? Tinkatuff, Trubbish, Crustle, Absol, Simisage, Norman, the Flamigo scores, the Dondozo scores, and the Kingdra scores. So six. So six total, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, so not a terrible showing. I mean, nope. the 15 on the season. That's all right. That's yeah, all right. I'll take it. I mean, Team Grass was, had good coverage as it were anyway, so. Uh, we'll see here. We got an electric type coming up for Monkey go. Bacon. Monkey Bacon. I want to say this is a father son team. Yes. Yes, indeed. Dad is bacon, son is monkey. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. And they have they have two point packs back to back. They have two point packs back to back. So they've got four points on the season. All right. We got the metal, metal energy, energy, the Mantike, the Pan Sage, the Minin, the Snow Run, the Zip Strika, the Crocolore, the Amber Palm. Seeing a whole bunch of our randomly chosen combinations cards but from the season. None the Valusa so won't score. The Punkaloo will not. Not scoring the Chi Yu oh, was a single, single point. point. Oh no, it's just, so just five, five points. points on the season for uh, poor Monkey Bacon. I, know. I always want to pull something good for Monkey Bacon because I, I feel like they're like waiting together to watch it and then uh, it's like one. I know it reminds me so much of you and your son Luke. I feel like I that's the kind of thing you guys would do. <laughs> exactly. like, <laughs> Luke, Luke, come on, that's us. That's, we're, we're famous. Here we go. 
Oh man, all right. Well, better luck next time, Monkey Bacon. Next up, we've got Dragon. So the Monkey Bacon was two packs back to back, and this is four four points back, back to back, back for Dragon. Yeah, let's see if we can pull something uh, big for him here. Dragon, of course, famously works for a space agency with Indeed. a name like Dragon. You gotta you gotta How imagine which one. Right. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's only like two. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're not in America. Uh, Onyx will score the Flood of the Knack. We will score the Orthworm Toad School Scream Tail. The Volcanian will. Will score the Wiglet will not, and the, and the Steelix. Steelix will score. So it's a four-point four pack, pack which back, is again back to back to back, back to back to back four-point packs for Dragon this season. That's going to be twelve points total. Well done. All right, the consistent. And there's our, our Roaring Moon uh, cover art that we're looking for. That's that's the that's the card we want to see oh, come here out. Here we go. Next up, we've got Margo, who has been in contention before. Yeah, Margo is a competitor yeah. with season finishes in season four, thirty-seven points. Season five. Was it 81, 81 points? Yeah, I think um, she was at the top of the leaderboard for a while, or they were. Yeah, Sorry. and then season six would have been 25, and then coming into today, they've gotten a, a cumulative uh, seven points. Yes, yeah, so let's see. So, Can we get something big? We've got the Eyeball Energy there for Margo, the Oracoria, the Swablu, the Panseer, the Nicket, the Belusa, the Chantal, the Garboder, the Crocolore will not Oh, oh the there Crustle you go, will, the Crustle. There we go. Okay, and the, the Age of Slash to close Let's out. Let's look up that Crustle. Let's do it indeed. Number 183 on the set. If I can get a hold of my papers here, $2.97. Well, so not a, wow. just a little bit of rounding to so three, four just points. Four points total for 11 on the season for Margo. It's a cool looking card, though. It it's, is. It's, it's some fun artwork there. So you enjoy that, Margo. There we go. We'll see you next season. Yeah, we will. All right, next up we've got Icy Vanilla. Vanilla Icy? Vanilla Icy? It's about to get real vanilla. Vanilla icy outside in, <laughs> yeah, in real right. time. In real time, because it is about to snow. <laughs> That's right, it is. Uh, here we go. Van uh, vanilla icy has five points on the season thus far, and the Nuzlocke reignited his love for Pokemon games. Ben, have you have, have you thought about the Nuzlocke much since last week? Since last week, yeah. You know? <laughs> Just a bundle. Yeah, just a yeah, bundle. Just a bundle, yeah. absolutely. All right, then we've got Natu, Remoraid, Pumpkaboo, Zubat, Cyclozar, Professor Turo, Manchow will score, the Boon Suite, the Flittle, and the Chin Pal. So just two, two points. points. Sadly, there we're going to have. I feel uh, like we're zooming today, and I think it's because we are like, we're stoked. It's like something, like, something's got to show something up. Something big is in. I'm like, let's see it. Let's see the let's see the big money. The narrative has to happen. We got 0 4 12 for zero. Team Fire. Zero for 12. Team Fire. Can't, okay, so Team Fire is just above 21 points, which is, I guess, possible for Zero for 12. They've got 11. I know. You know? So, the, and I mean, it's not going to take much. I think if you can clear 21 points for Team Fire at this point, at least you'll be contributing to the overall score, which yeah. isn't the worst. we got a Lightning Bolt energy there. The Knackle Sack's a good start. The Plusel, the Dotler, the Toxel, the Snorlax, the Tinkaton, the Durant Durant, the Toad School will do nothing. Jay shaking his head. It's not going to happen, y'all. Corio and the uh, so three <laughs> points. <Three. laughs> like you knew, it's like this you pack. This pack is not oozing mm -hmm. magic from no, it. No, it's not. It never, <laughs> they got the Tigloo. So three points for a total of fourteen for zero for twelve. Okay, there we go. There you go. All right, next up we have got oh a rookie this season, not a rookie of the day or anything. But okay, Arreus Khan. Arreus Khan for Team okay. Grass. All right, so again, yeah, Team Grass over there with 230 points at the top of the leaderboard. Really just crushing it with Aerial Stormborn, Mysterios, Tempest Blade, the Blue Swede, and Jazzy J. Truth are all in the top 10 wow. scoring points for Man. Team Grass right now. Grass is crushing it. Well, here we go. We finally have a Nimble for the randomly chosen common chase cars. The Yamask, yeah the Spindo, the Tinkaton, the Explod, the Slitherwing will score, the Gimme Ghoul will score, the Magby will not, and the Deoxys will, so it's going to be four points. Four points, there we Here go. There we go, that's going to bring their total to 11 on the season for Arreus Khan. There we go, well done Arreus, welcome to uh, your first full season, and well done. Oh, here we go, Ben, a crowd favorite, Games Bun! Games Bun! Let's see it! Coming into the day with nine points for Team Electric. Yes. All right, uh, Games' as partner collects Pokemon cards, so uh, he joined to help them collect. Oh, that's so fun! That's exciting. Let's get so we got something good. Got the Gligar right out of the gate, the Blip Bug, the Fue Coco, the Honed Edge, the Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Scream Tail, the Iron Bundle, the Porygon, oh, Porygon. Z. The the Porygon. And that will score, though. The yeah. Technical Machine Evolution will not, and the Glycopod Glycopod. will, so one, two, three points. Man, we're getting there. Something's coming. Something's, Something's coming, coming y'all. We, we, we haven't seen we haven't enough. Seen nothing crazy. 
crazy yeah. has happened yet in this, this box. This the has something there. left Something's in it. Something's there. Yeah. Something to cheer about. But who will we be cheering for? Is it Fluffy Duck? Fluffy Duck! Let's find out what they can do. They've got 10 points so far. Let's see it, Fluffer Ducks. Fluffer Ducks. Quack. 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 There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, Here's the gimme goal. Wrong gimme goal. Oh, unfortunately. unfortunately. That's too bad. The Mean Foo will score. The Pharisee. The Rika. The Scream Tail. Professor Sada. The Nimbo will score. Oh! Oh, dang. There's something! It is Fluffy Duck. It's got something cool. That's a really awesome Tapu Koko. It is! I love, I love like, the color spectrum. It feels very unique it like, is. For, for the Pokemon company. Very Alolan right yeah. there. Very fun. It's almost got, yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, and then the Groudon uh, as well. Just like, cap okay. it off. Just cap it off. So number 247 on the set. I haven't you seen know. that one. Did we, let, me, let me grab a sleeve from you over Ooh, here. Ooh, yeah. This is, not, this is not bad, Jay. Who is this yeah. for? This, this is, for, is team, for Fluffy Duck. This is for Team, team Water. water. Yeah. So uh, let's see what, what this is going to do. Do for old fluffy duck. Hang on one second. I lost my place here. Give me that number one more time. Two forty. Two forty-seven. Number two forty-seven is going to be twenty-one dollars thirty-seven cents. Whoa! So there like we 22, go. Twenty-two. To twenty-two. Three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five points. Twenty-five points. Man, that's fantastic. That's that going is. to bring them up to thirty-five points on the season. Does that affect our leaderboard at all, though? Is the question. I think it does. Let's see. Let's see. So they came into the day. Okay. Yeah. With ten. So twenty-five. So 35 points overall. 35. Oh, that's going to put them in 11th place 11th overall. Place, yeah. Man, so it doesn't actually affect the like eighth place or anything as right. of yet, but it might affect the the, the team competition. It a could little? affect. It could. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Let me let me do some let me do some configuring here. See if I can make it work. Okay, sorry. So <laughs> Fluffy Duck. <laughs> sorry. Math, math, math. Fluffy Duck did score about four points for water there. There we go. Well, well done to Fluffy Duck. Way to contribute to the overall team total. And congratulations <laughs> on that Tapu Koko. God, that is awesome. I've not seen that one in person. I uh, love it. It's a good looking card. It's a good collectible sure. card. Man, next up we have Palo Azul. Palo Azul. Azul. Yeah, Azul, very good Pokemon name. One of the best Pokemon card game players in the world's name is Azul. No way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then his last name is like uh, Greco Garcia or something, so it's like Azul GG, and GG is like what you say after you play a game. Wow. So it's, it's such like, like a perfect gaming name. Like a person built I for know. this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Fireball Energy for Apollo Azul, the Lipard, the Wimpod, the Elekid, the Tinkatuff, the Earthen Earth Vessel, Vessel score too. Medical Energy, the Steeny, the Medical Ooh. Energy oh, again. Oh, a critical hit on a the Medical hit. Energy. There we go, the Gimme and Ghoul. It's, no. the wrong, it's the wrong one. The wrong one. Oh, Again, they do look so, so similar. similar. Grab the one for us so we can show people yeah, what we're geez. talking about. All right. So, um, so this is this is the randomly chosen common chase card. This is what we just pulled. I know. Today. Well, it's just like an inverse of the other. I know. Gosh. It, it, I mean, it Boy. begs the question as to why they would do two. I know. I think that, is there even a third one? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. So there we go. So that will get set aside. The melodic will score. So that's three points. No, but oh, no, it's I'm a sorry, but that energy. yes, okay, so, there, so it's six points. Six points. Good save. Good right, save. Yeah, yep. Six. I got so distracted with the gimme ghoul that I, I didn't have time to think about the the multiplier. But there we go. So six points. All right. So, so Palo Azul gets ten points on the season and closes off the rookie season there. So with t with ten points. So well done to Apollo. All right. Next Next up, oh no, I, 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 apologies ahead of time for saying your name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie the King. Rosie the King. Not Rosie Thacking. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Rosie the King. All right, they've got 12 points coming into the day. Uh, the Rosie Thacking sounds fun, too. It does. Sounds I mean, I mean it, could, it could be All right, something. here we go. Rosie uh, the King, maybe got 12 points. So they actually, uh, they need, what, above 20 to score for fire, if I believe? They're going to, I mean, fire needs all the help it can get, though. It really so does, yes. Yeah, they're going to the need to score huge. There's the Dwebble, the Dewblade, the Wizmer, the Gorgeist, the Mila, Tatsugiri, Plusso, Kingdra, Will. Will score and Iron Jugulus will score. Just so. a fire, just can't catch a break with just two points they really there can't. for Rozzy, Rozzy the King. There you on go. the day. But either which way, thank you for your support. Thank you for sticking with us. We'll see you next month. Yeah, we will. Next up, we've got Mark Mark. Mark Mark. Mark Mark has uh, six points off of two three point pack back to backs. Okay. Oh, you got it. Go. Bam. Got it. it was a tight pack there. Tight pack. Oh. Let's see. So we got the, the salad energy. We got the Dwebble, the Horsey, the Joltik, the Loudred, the Ferrothorn, the Curse Duster, the Ore Beetle. The Elekid will not score. The Garnacle will score twice. And the Brute Bonnet. So, Number one, so just three points. Three points. One, two, three. Yep. Hey, three points every single pack this week or this month for, uh, or this season. Season. Rather. Very <laughs> consistent. Nine points total. 
<laughs> for Mark Mark. All right, next up we've got another Lauren. Another Lauren. The, the another Lauren. <laughs> All right, uh, Lauren has got five points coming in. They love dark types. Let's see if we can pull you some right here. Maybe you'll get the brute bonded, I don't know. Bam, we've got, oh, the rock is pummeling. That's our type advantage for the day. It right? is, yes so indeed. Here the we go. Will... The Geibel will score. Panpour, the Blitzel, the Boonsweet, the Minior will score, okay. the Crocolore, the Tulip, the, the Gligar will, will score. Oh, the, oh, the Wimpod! And there wasn't another one, was there? No, okay, the Wimpod will score, and the Zation will score. Okay. Wow, very Man, nice. how very fun. Nice. Right, let's, let's see, see. and that, everything's getting that two times multiplier as well, so this could be a little bit bigger. Yes, the Wimpod, at least according to my notes, the first one we've had of the season, so $4.44, oh, wow. we'll round up to five. Five, all right, let's see, so we have. Do some quick math. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine times two is 18 points! The bam! There you go, you love to see it. That is going to bring uh, another Lauren total to 23 points on the season. Well done to another Lauren. Very, go. very good grab. And, and you get that wimp pod. Just a, just a fun little card there. There you go, bam. All right, next up we have Cartavian. Cartavian. Who has got just three points on the season. All right, so let's see. We got the we got the Dark Energy, the Trubbish, the Crustle, the Onyx will score, yes. the Flittle, the Gliscor will score, the Absol, the Semi Sage, the Char Cadet will not, the Surskit will not, and the Zatu will. will. So, so just three points. Oh man, just six on the season for Cartavian. It's Cartavian. There it is. All right. All right, next up we have got Big Jake. Big Jake. Yeah, all right, Big Jake has got 11 points right now. I'm pulling for the back, there Big we go. Jake. So, I mean, at least Just according say. to the notes, I mean, yeah, team, team Electric is here to play, so. Yeah, so let's see if they can pull anything big. I mean, with 11 points right now, I mean, how much, I don't even know how much they need to make a dent in Electric score, but there's fire. As if to throw insult at the team fire. Natu, Ramore, Professor Turo, Mian Shao. Rika, Perloin, Tatsuguri, and more Pekka. So ah. nothing too big there for Big Jake. Just two points for a total of 13 on the season. Just a, just a big two for Big Jake. There you go. All right. Next up is Dom. Dom. AKA uh, Dominic Toretto, probably. I From believe. Fast and the Furious. Yes. And when, when he's not driving, um, you know, very, very fast and possibly to space. We know, of course, that he indulges in his love for Pokemon cards. Exactly. I mean, this yeah. guy it does say Dom here shares a birthday with Vin Diesel. Like, uh, coincidence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, oh, and there we go. Two times multiplier. Wow, I just knocked it right off the screen. There we go. All right, we yeah. got the Remoraid, the Pumpkaboo, the Zubat, the Noctu, the Claw oh. Score, the Luxurious Gate, the Cyclozar, the Honed Edge, the Wug Trio, and, and the, the, Iron oh, the Iron Hands, I think, does have some, some juice on I it, it, right? It does indeed, yeah. Let's, Let's see, see here. what it's got. Number 70 on the set is going to be worth, yeah, $9.12. So so that'll round 10, up to 10. 11, 22 points. 22 points. points. Very impressive. Nothing but twos on the day for uh, Dom here. Uh, they scored two points in both of their first packs, so they finally managed to, you know, line them up there which is going to bring their total to 26. Very impressive, and I do think that that will make a very, again, it's kind of subtle difference for Team Fire, but yeah, should, that's true. should nudge them up ever so slightly. <laughs> All right, good job, Fire. You're doing it. You're doing it. I mean, it just goes to show that at this stage in the game, it really takes something special, but either which way, I mean, it's been fun when you have what otherwise looks like a bulky X card, but it's so playable Ooh. that it comes with a lot of extra, yeah. you know, oomph. Do you know why it's so playable, Ben? Uh, no, why is it so playable? Because if you knock out a Pokemon with this attack, and you very much one of the best attack names in the game you get to take an extra prize card how about it so yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good okay. <laughs> people will try to abuse that as much as possible but hey people who are going to score for fire basically no matter what it's doe who has got right now 35 points on the season 35 so points. what does that mean for doe that she needs to get up to what 41 to get into eighth place yes yeah, so let's yeah. see here yep yeah so 41 would do it so there's a six point pack yeah at I'm, least or maybe more to hopefully get bumped down into eighth place or something right like like a seven wouldn't be the worst that'd be pretty good um, you know there's there's always the possibility of smubbles who has 25 points and still a pack left open today to, to do something for doe so well, let's see what doe has got all right can she do it the magnet the flamigo will score 
Porygon, Vanillox, Defiance Fast, Veluza, the Wiglet, the Blip Bug, and the Armor Rouge! It is a fire type. That's not gonna help because it looks very bulky. It's definitely yeah. not gonna be a five point card. Definitely not. It's a it's just a terrible rounding card as well with 96 cents. Oh, so just no. just two points on that pack for Joe, who otherwise did have a great season. Good, good show. 37 for the points, mods. very solid. Yes, indeed. We're just gonna finish right there beneath Jazzy J Truther. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. wow. Pretty much didn't change position at all, but but filled in some of the space between where she already was. And, and got another two points for fire. Yeah, well done. There you go. There we go, so pass that along. All right, the chance to play spoiler has moved. Next up is uh, Matt Cox who has got three points, so a possible last place player right here. Yeah. He can get a single point out of this pack. And again, it will have to go back to the tape for, for us to determine the last place finisher no matter what, but we need to know whether or not they're even in contention for it. Right. So, oh, but they're not. The is oh, gonna put you out the, the Nimble will yeah, do it as wow. well. The Yamas, the Norman, the Orthworm, the Toad Scroll, the Toxel will not score, the Snorlax Doll will not score, and the Garnacle will score, so four so, points. There you go. Blasting you clean out of that bottom race, but other which Man. way. I mean, still means you're putting up more points overall on the leaderboard, so well done, Matt. Seven on the season for Matt Cox. Bam. Next up is Sydney. Sydney! Yeah, all right. Sydney's got eight points coming in for Team Fire, so needs to get about a 13-point pack here to make <laughs> some kind of a difference, but even, even that would only actually get them, like, one point. So hopefully this is just it. Hopefully this is you know the this is the this is the moment where the the roaring this is moon the roaring comes, moon comes roaring into play comes roaring into play and scores like a hundred points for Team Fire. Here we go. Let's see it. Come on, Pansage, Mantag, Dondozo. Don oh, the Dondozo does, yeah. does score. You're right. Chantal, Garboder, the Golbat, the Galvantula, and the Volcanion. Wow. So not quite the roaring moon. <laughs> <laughs> not quite what we're looking for. Instead, it's just a two point pack which is going to bring us to 10 on the season. Well done, Sydney. There you go, there you go. Man, I, is the Roaring Moon, how, it feels impossible that we could open 12 boxes and not get it. I, again though, me and me and Ethan were chatting right before, we were waiting on we were waiting on you to come in, we were talking about that like Monty Hall problem, and it's yeah. like the more boxes that we've injected into the equation, technically the lower the odds are every single time, right. <laughs> that like it will be in a future one. So right. um, anyway, shout out to Ethan for the help on the math on that front. What is so frustrating about this, you guys, is that Big Steve pulled it up pre-release. So he's just had it this whole he's time. He's just had it the whole yeah. time, man. I don't know how he does it. He has it magic is so fingers. so wild. Yep. Uh, mm. All right, so, so Kernak, Kernak. Here we go. Let's see what we can do for McClagan, Kernak. rival of skill. Right, yes indeed, yes you indeed. You know what, we added McClagan. That's not even part of his <laughs> actual name. No, it isn't, it isn't. I hope that you don't mind that we've we've interfered a little <laughs> bit there. All right, so with the Eyeball Energy, the Purloin, the Mien Fu yep. will score the Pharaoh Seed, the Geibel will score the Simisaur, the Crobat, the Roar Arc, the Snow Runt will not score, the Screamtail will not oh, score. Oh, oh, the Confrigus! There we go. one of those today. How about that, number I two guess that's Four something. What does this thing even do? It is our second one of the season at least. $2.30 for that one. So just rounds up to three, three four, four, five, five. on there the pack. Go. All right. So nothing terribly, nothing terribly game changer with that. But nope. either which way, I mean, it's still a really cool looking, you know, full art card that you get to add to your collection. But bam. All right. Was that, I think, actually, did they end at nine points? Did they? Just for fun, they did. Yeah. They did indeed. Okay. For nine, there you yeah. go. Way to go. Everyone's favorite number. All right, next up it is Data Rage. So another mod coming into the uh, into the battle arena here. We have got 10 points for Data Rage right now. Let's see. What can she do? We'd love to see. I mean, the the battle. I mean, not that not that anything major changes, but the battle between water and electric is rather close right now. So there is the ability yeah. to. No. to <laughs> Does that? But that's not even for first place. That's not even for first that's place. Really, yeah. That's just for second. Right. But. Let's see. One Creo Blindside, Swablu, Octillery, Zatu. Oh, wow. Oh, Data. Come darn. on. That's just one. Point for data that is going to bring her to 11 on the season. But oh, thank man. you, thank you so much as ever, data, for your mod ship and support here of the show. Mm -hmm. All right, next up is Beck Squad. Beck Squad. Beck Squad. Uh, We've got uh, Beck Squad has six points thus far. 
All right, back squat. So it feels it feels like a three point pack based on like recent history, just in terms of that, yeah, that yeah, nine number point nine, yeah. finish, which is oddly pervasive. Yeah. Uh, as we are about to enter our ninth season. I know, coming up. I don't even know what the next the next set even is, Ben. I know. Yeah, we got to go back. I, and, I think it's like one of those like special collector sets. It, it might be like another single season like set. A, yeah, could be. Yeah. Could be. Uh, overhead is off. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go yeah, ahead and yeah, do that real it, quick. Technical, technical, technical. There we go, there we go. Okay, so going in for Beck Squad, here we got yes. the, the Spinda, the Tinka Tink, the Tandem Mouse, the Dwebble, the Screamtail, the Technical Machine Devolution, the Explow, the Minior Will, will score. score, the Panpour Will Not, and the Latios yes. will just bring it to two points overall. I don't think we pulled the best card Today yet. I don't either. You I don't know? either. I feel like there's still something there's, there's still no, something. There has like been no hiding. illustrator. There has been no gold. Something's hiding in the bushes. Something's here, man. And maybe Collard Cow 41 will pull it for Team Water here, because they've got 12 points. Once upon a time, Collard Cow was either a winner or contender for last place yes. in season six with three single point cards in yeah. a grand total of uh 43, 43 cents. cents. Truly, a truly great run there. Um, let's see, we got the Gabite, that will score. The Minin, the Dewblade, Mill Tank, Technical Machine, the Durant, the Slitherwing, the Morpeko will score, the Jirachi will not. Ooh! Oh, Professor Sada's Vitality, that's awesome. That's that gonna be good. super cool, that does seem like a good one. Let's see. That does, this is a super playable card. It's full art, it is a, it is a Professor, let's see. Yeah, Professor Sada's Vitality is gonna be worth $11.83. We'll round up to oh, 12. Oh man, so 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 for, for Collared Cow. What does that end up doing for them on that the season? That's going to be 27 on the season for them. Okay, okay. Pretty solid. Not so bad, and a really just an overall super cool card man. to get to take home with you. Right? So enjoy that for sure, Full Collared that. Cow. All right, next up is John Borg. Do you think that that was our card? No, yeah. I don't think that was no, it that either. That wasn't even it, that wasn't even it, okay. No, that was an illustrator, Professor Sada. All right, all right, we got John this Borg. Be a great pull. All right, let's see, John Borg. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like my own anticipation is just building like crazy. I right know, I'm the like, Panthor, there's got the to Blitzel, be. The Blitzel, the Boon Suite, the Phoebus, the, the Minior Mior. will score, the Semipore, the Zebstrika, the Melodic will, will score. score, the Dewblade will not, and the Thievul will. So just there three points. Three. That's three points out of every pack this uh, season for John Borg for a total of nine. To tie, to nine tie again. Them, uh, the batch of nines there down there. Turns out. That's just like the average number this season. Next up we have Vicky, who's got seven points. The very total. least the, the mode, probably, and the most commonly scored. Yes, yeah, yeah. At the very least, you're right. Probably not the average, the 101's right. throwing it off. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> the Swablu, the Panzer, Wiglet, Gligar will score, Iron Bundle, Countercatcher, Tinkatuff, Apom, and Zekrom. So just, just two points. Two points there for Vicky to bring her total to, wait for it, nine. Nine. <laughs> Man. How about it? That is just wild, the number of people getting to nine points. Guys, we are down to the last five packs of the season. So Carly, wherever you are, just like, you know, fingers crossed. You were there. I you know. were there. You got this. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Who I knows? Might, I might be jinxing you, and I would hate it if I was, but at the same rate, I would be so delighted because it think would be... Think of the views. Think of the, think of, think of the views. Think of the people who have committed... <laughs> who are about to commit to this moment, to 12 episodes of the eighth season of a show they've never watched before, just for, for this. For this. For, for the this, drama. This, this is the moment. All right, so we got the Whimsor, the Dewblade, the Surskit, the Magby, the Mila. Slytherin. The Slytherin, I'm sorry. Of course. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, thank you. I was like, yeah. yes, yeah. I was about to say it. <laughs> but I understand why you did. Uh, we got the Gorgeist, which does not score. The Knackle Stack, which does not Yes, it does. Oh, which does <laughs> score. But the Tinkaton will not score. And the, the Hoopa. Hoopa will with an extra point there. Yes. So let's check number 98 on the set. My brain was breaking because I could see something peeking out the and back. Like, and what is like, it? What can it be? Uh, so 88 cents what for that one. Be? So just a single point. Oh, man, so but three points on the pack. Well. But four, because the hoop has got an extra point. Four. <laughs> ben, are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm just, I want I want to see something wild happen so bad. My brain is like skipping skipping ahead for, no, for what could be. Four more people. Thank you so much, Shauna, as ever, for your support of the show. It means a lot to us. All right. Two more people for Team Fire left. The first is Akron Guy. Akron Guy. Who has got uh, four 
points on the season, so they've got a long way to go if they're going to score us some points here for Team Fire. There we go. Yep, got to see something really big come out of this pack right now. Right. Here we go. We're down to our final four contestants of the season. Can Carly hold on for first place? Spinda, Nimble will score. Nope, sorry, wrong Nimble. I <laughs> <Almost. laughs> kid. Orthworm, the, the cloth, cloth will <laughs> score. Sibby's here. Oh, critical hit on the Orthworm. Worm. And the Knackley will score and the Melodic. So, wow. So six, just six three, points. six points total on the pack. Going to give you 10 on the season. That's better than nine. That is better than nine. You're beating out a whole guy. bunch of people. But will not score for Team Fire. Don't get ahead of yourself. Next up, our final fiery competitor of the season is Tyler Gillies. Tyler Gillies. The real question is whether or not there's enough fire power left in the whole set in order to uh, propel. I know because they fire. need like they need like a hundred or something points. They they really do. This yeah. has got to be something absolutely wild if people want those <laughs> pins. And, and I mean, it would certainly have to be. A Rock is oh, energy. but here we go. Yeah. Let's see it. To put us in the conversation for old Tyler Gillies here. Let's see some points, Fire. Let's see it. Galvantula, the Mantike, the Pantage, the Crocolore, the Ambipom. We got nothing. We got the Snorlax. We got the New Blade, the Cursed Duster, and then nothing. <laughs> Come on! Two! Or, you, I mean, Tyler, at least you put a, some drama in there with the multiplier. You did, you did. It was like, I was like, oh man, uh, what, what are the odds that this one will be? That like, would be yeah. wild. Yeah, we're getting really down to so, it now, you guys. R.I.P. to fire season, unfortunately. Two. But that's okay. People left. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's do Kelly K first, who is coming in with six points on the season. Let's see it, Kelly. What do you got for us? She's loved Pokemon since she was a kid, but just started playing the card game with her husband and her three-year-old son, Jameson. Shout out to Jameson. What's up, Jameson? Hope you're, if you're still your three. Cards. I don't know how long you've been playing. All right, Water Energy. Let's see it. Wimpod, Plusle, Tandem Mouse, Toad School, Ferrothorn, Curse Duster, Orbeetle. The Onyx will score. Ooh, does it say it's a critical hit on the Ferrothorn? And the oh, Skeletor! So it's, okay. I mean, it could be fun. It looks like bulky X, but. Let's see, let's um, see. We'll number, give it a look. Number 137 on the set. The Skeletor is going to be worth $1.12. We'll round up to okay, two. two. So three times two is six. There you go. So six there points you go. for Kelly to close out. 12 on the season. There we go, there we go. There you go. Nice Skeletor for Jameson. Okay. All right, and our final competitor of the season is Tempest Blade, who is presently sitting in fifth place. There are three oh, packs three left. Packs left. Oh, no. So we got to go with the Roaring then Moon. Give it the, okay, go for the uh, Roaring yeah, Moon. Yeah, I got to go for the Roaring Moon. It's All right. Just, just, that's a good omen. We'll see what happens here for Tempest Blade. Oh, Tempest Blade, on. who has... 44 go. points. 44 points for Tempest Blade. So they don't actually need the full 100 to jump ahead. Just, they, a, just a low 60. <laughs> 60 will do it. That's you know? all. That That's would it. already be the second. That would still be the second best. Yeah. Which would really, yeah. Oh my gosh. So we'll see. So Carly is just trembling I over I, there. I think she's safe. Oh, the okay. rock is bubbling. We're, we're going out. We're Here going we out go. swinging at least. We got the Blip Bug, the Fue Coco, the Snow Run, the Honed Edge, the Ancient Energy Booster Energy Capsule, the Masquerade, the Cyclozar, the Tinka Tink will not score, the Horsey will not score, and, and the, the Pouring God. No, it's not. It's <laughs> the Pouring God for the end. That's terrible. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. I Tempest literally, literally, look blind. at this. At the top corner of my page, I wrote Porygon Z, five cents worthless. <laughs> 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 and there it is. That is how we end the season with the poor god. That is such a bummer, but it's uh, absolutely two cent or a two point card there. Uh, wow, Tempest played. Good, good game, good game. And guys, it is now time to announce our winners for another great season of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers with our winner, the crown going to the one and only Carly. Uh, in quality eighth place, we have Marcos. The Big Steve Award will be going to Andriana. And in last but certainly not least, we have Haley and Colin winning that last place awards. Congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you for another great season. But guys that was one heck of a season so many ups and downs what an amazing ride that we've been on i feel like Ooh. it really heated up in this last month it did yeah it's been it's been a blast it's been it's been, it's been very fun we did again we missed <laughs> 
The Roaring Moon. I know, completely. We whiffed uh, on 12 on boxes. More than 12, because Ben and I have opened some personally as well. We still don't have it. We still don't have it. We still don't so. have it. At this point in time, I would count it as having it if we even just opened it and gave it I to know, somebody like, else. I know, it's possible. Like, I've held it. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. But no. uh, either which way, guys, we have a brand new season gearing up for the month of February. I believe it's going to be a single month season. So if you've ever been on the fence and you want to be able to compete in a whole uh, championship, in mm -hmm. one month's yeah. worth of time. It's a great month to do so. Uh, you can sign up by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the Box Breakers tiers. Uh, we would love to open some packs for you guys in the future. Link to that in the description below. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!